All right. Apparently, I'm live on uh, Facebook here. I'm going to allow the chat and feel free to um, explore my deep learning AI research library if you care to. It will be on uh, YouTube and all the different areas connected with my name and uh, or phone number. So I've got that right there for your consideration. I'll put the hyperlink in the comment, first comment, and I believe I can pin that. And I may upload this to YouTube. I'm going to keep it so I can... Uh, I'm going to have to be discreet about what I talk about so the video doesn't get flagged and my channel taken down off of YouTube. So one of the announcements that I have for you is that because of the censorship that's going on, Elon Musk permanently banned me from the Twitter, now X platform. That's surprising to some, not to me. I'm exposing a lot of dark projects that he's involved in as a government contractor. So the Starlink is much like Skynet. We've got videos where Elon's talking about the danger of AI and he wants to have a, a computer system that has optimal curiosity and pursuit of truth. And then he bans the truth guy about that. <laughs> what a contradiction, isn't it? Life is full of contradictions. Some of the tears that I shed this morning didn't make it into the ocean. They were right at home watching the bucket list and it's, it's a classic. And I remember being with my mother as she was passing away in um, Appleton Memorial Hospital or let's see, Appleton, yeah, well, I don't know that I have the exact name but it was um, Appleton Memorial I believe it was. And it was about 30 years ago. The, especially the part where they couldn't have uh, water, but they could have a little sponge thingy to wet their mouth. It was pretty sad. And then to see them deal with the chemotherapy and brain cancer and, and all of that. It's a reflection on our reality, which I'm exposing. And speaking of a reflection on our reality... This is a sea level liquid mirror. See all that? We live on a stationary level Earth. That's the reality. So for people that are globe in it yet, globe, globalists, I'm exposing that as a lie. It's unpopular. The truth is unpopular. The truth isn't based on popular opinion. It's not popular, nor is it an opinion. It's simply the reality. So those that are believing obvious lies are reality deniers. So I'm showing you right now, unless you're on the beach looking at me and listening, listening to me concurrently, there's a few people that could be doing it, or from their windows of their or the balconies there otherwise you're looking at part of our shared simulated reality if you're looking at a computer screen or a, which also is an is a, a cell phone a smartphone it's a mobile computer then you're looking at part of our shared simulated reality i'm in the base reality with my bare bronze feet on the beach like I've been doing for years. Why do I tan like this and look as healthy as I do? For I'll be I'm actually 63 years old now. And one of the reasons it's complicated, it has to do with uh, lifestyle and dietary choices, healthy nutrients and avoiding toxins. The other day, a woman with a purple leg got taken away 
on the uh, with emergency medical vehicles and she was in her 60s apparently looked like I believe I've talked to her and her husband before and it's sad it, it's just sad I have a, a friend Earl was my next door neighbor one morning I saw all kinds of flashing lights in my living room at 4.30 in the morning or so, right around then, and there was a, uh, a large emergency vehicle, a fire truck out front, and then there were other emergency vehicles, and Earl had some lifestyle choices involving alcohol and opiates, and uh, this was about four years ago, right, right around the time of the initial awareness of the COVID situation, awareness, the public awareness, and then many of us in the truth community were aware of a whole other reality, I believe the actual reality, and that's been developing over the time I've compiled the content that has been created by brave and in many cases deceased content creators. Oh, by the way, when they took Earl away, as I waved goodbye to him, that was the last time we saw each other. He didn't make it. The last time I saw Rob Skiba was at the Denver Flat Earth International Conference. Saw each other face to face. Because of the conference series and my willingness to attend them and and others being eager to make fun of me and other truth exposers, truth tellers, I've been viewed over 40 million times. How cool is that? And at first it was a little bit awkward when PewDiePie made fun of me, but that's okay. They love to make fun of the truth. See how stationary and level this is? Oh yeah, it's a sea level liquid mirror. Got a dragonfly out here, a lot of bugs. Uh, people coming on out here too now. A big group. Got a few friends that are surfers getting ready to come out here. They're waxing their boards. And I may paddle out again today. Ah, look at the, um, see the chemtrail on the beach? And the chemtrail in the sky. Yep. It's uh, geo also known as geoengineering, solar management, weather modification. And by golly, according to them, the parasite class, it's all for our good. Just like eating bugs and owning nothing and being happy. I happy anyway. <laughs> yeah. For the, for the most part, I have a joy that is beyond what money can buy. And part of that joy comes with pain. I'm going to back up a little bit and put the trail and the reflection in the view. See that? It'll show up if I back up enough. This is the Prince Resort with AI monitored live cameras that you could go on. Surfline camera there. Sometimes I see babies out here. The youngest I, I believe I've met was yesterday or the day before, a month old. And their parents Giovanna was her name. That's Vanna White's daughter's name. They didn't even know it at the time I talked to them. See how the people reflect there? Now, let me um, see what happens if I flip it. It's telling me to rotate my camera. See how ridiculous that looks? The upside down world. Yet they say to see the sun show up over here today that were rotating over a thousand miles an hour with spinning, orbiting, wobbling, and gyrating. None of that movement can be felt. It's never been proven. 
I've got video of boats apparently vanishing over the horizon. It's just I'll bring them back in with magnification with P900 and P1000. One of the reasons, those are Nikon Coolpix cameras. Uh, so one of the reasons why I'm doing the Facebook live stream is my YouTube live stream wouldn't allow me to rotate my camera to horizontal. It wanted a vertical recording. I didn't want to do vertical. I wanted to do horizontal. So I am. And then I'll apparently be able to download and upload this video to YouTube. Quite possibly to Rumble. I could be rumbling it. I've got a Rumble channel. It's called Truth. I've got a Truth channel on Library. Uh, now it's called Odyssey. I'll put a link tree here for you to see too. Andrew and his daughter Hannah going out to surf. How cool is that? Andrew's from the or well, Andrew and Hannah are from the UK, United Kingdom. I've got friends all around the world. How cool is that? And yet it can be at times a bit lonely and a bit painful, all of that. And yet the Lord is with me wherever I go, always. So the only safe place to be in this asymmetrical warfare is in Christ, actually born of the Spirit. I'm not the judge. I don't decide who is or isn't. I'm not a legalist. I'm not working my way to heaven. That's all been secured and predetermined by the Almighty. It's the, doc the biblical teaching and, I believe, accurate doctrine of election. He determines who his children are and when and where we are. He created this world. It's not a godless cosmic big bang. But science, yeah, it's become a weapon of mass deception. However, actual true science is a method of investigation that tests the hypothesis of individuals investigating and fearlessly goes where the proof leads. True science. So there's the truth and a whole bunch of extra, everything else. And that's how I found that. And the deception has become so sophisticated and clever, it involves technology deployed in our atmosphere like that, and the constituents are, are widely known, uh, many of them. Aluminum, barium, strontium, fibers. And the NASA war document is in my library talking about how some of that particulate bores into the lungs and contributes to breathing problems. And in the last four years, people that presented themselves to hospitals with breathing problems, some checked in and they didn't check out alive. Cause of death unknown. How about that? However, we did have uh, people that were killed in motorcycle accidents that were counted, right local here, that were counted as uh, COVID death. So they cooked the books, cooked the numbers, Edward Dowd is in my library. He wrote a book called Cause of Death Unknown, dealing with the excess mortality. Uh, does it hit close to home? Oh, yeah. Yep, it sure does. Because in the age group of um, 18 to 65, there was a, a huge excess death amount. And you can hear Edward talk about it. The, and J.P. Sears, 
talking about it. Apparently, the, the greatest cause of death recently has been unknown. They don't have to acknowledge it for it to be real and true. There's information that's not widely known. It's becoming more... Pub, people are becoming more publicly aware of the grand illusion that we're living in. Kind of like the Truman Show, Terminator. I've got the Terminator in my library again. And the Truman Show. You can take a look at it if you want. Those are free YouTube movies. They're free for a little while. Then they become... Uh, private once again you can pay for them if you want to watch them you can watch them when they're free it's predictive or preemptive programming uh, it looks like a late teen early 20s couple holding hands there uh, wonder how that young love is going to work out Oh, let me zoom out a little bit. There you go. So we've got the singles, the wish they were singles, the divorcees, the widows, the widowers, all coming around. New parents, the stages of life, tears of joy and sadness. In this sea level, sea level liquid mirror, People reflect on their lives, they reflect off of the wet sand, reflect on fears, fears of the future, regrets of the past, and in many cases, missing the present, which is current, which is right now, so it can happen. So, for example, if I want to put those clouds on the mirror, I've got to go down or further up here and point down. I'll show you. It's kind of interesting. The horizon is horizontal. I've proven the stationary level Earth. I've got a little photo of me holding a bubble level about that big right out here on the pier by the pier and then I'm baiting people I want them to say you're gonna need a way bigger level than that how about all the water in the world how about that the surface of undisturbed unmanipulated water is flat and level see that see the tapestry of truth that's there the visible observable reality they hide the giants and give us fake dinosaurs. We've had large creatures, no doubt. You can see End Times Productions has done some on the giants, so has Steve Quayle. Unfortunately, apparently Steve Quayle is still a globalist, even though he's exposing them. Some people fashion themselves as a biblical creationist, yet they're globe in it globe tarden it. Sorry for them. So why do people believe the lies? Why do people believe the lies that they claim to know the truth about? Well, they're deceived. It's easier to deceive people than convince them that they've been deceived. Because pride is a powerful catalyst for deception. If you believe I got something wrong, by golly, you could send me a link put it in a comment, give me a call, and keep in mind a lot of activity online is non-human. It's artificial intelligence, so-called. So we have a biofield. You know, we live in a physiological body that has electrical operation, neurons throughout our body that respond to the neurons in our brain to affect our ability to move our hands, walk, 
swim, do gymnastics, or sit on our R's and get unhealthy with therapeutic toxic entertainment for our taste buds that are known toxins that the system has deployed to manipulate us with mind control, linking people up to the cybernetic collective of quantum supercomputers, linking people up wirelessly through Skynet, Wi-Fi, cellular, ring doorbells, Alexas, all the different mesh network of control. I'm exposing the whole thing. The banksters making money out of thin air, charging exorbitant interest, buying up real estate and booting people out and having weaponized migration or immigration. Are you ready? Are you ready for all of this? Well, I would say that the most important preparation would be to be right with God. Make sure you're born again if you need, if you believe you need to be. And when I say born again, I mean born of the Holy Spirit, not the fallen one. Because a lot of people have sold their souls for fame and fortune, earthly pleasures and wealth and resources. Poor bastards. They're probably children of Satan. But I don't know. I don't know that for a fact. So I even, for example, appeal regularly my permanent ban on Twitter, now X. I can send my research library to Elon's quantum supercomputer within a minute, if I feel like it. Anytime. I've done it hundreds of times, probably 400 appeals. Oh, well. Where's he going to spend forever and why? Gallivanting around, procreating with whoever he wants in, in vitro, cloning or whatever, however they're making it work out. Satan is the god of this world, the prince of this world, according to Jesus, according to God's word. And so you can, you can examine the Pied Piper to hell that... Elon apparently is. Now, is he a child of God that needs to be born again and exercised? <laughs> like as in the exorcist? Could be. I don't know. I don't determine that. Neither does he, as far as I know. The Almighty does. So, Satan will use who and what he can, and the Almighty will use it all, including Satan and the fallen angels and and all of that. So we have technology to have perpetual driving machines that can make an abundance of electricity to even power our houses. I've got the receipts for it in my research library. It's called Zero Point Energy. Stanley Meyer in the water car. You can see all about that. Him exposing the New World Order and uh, free energy, basically cleaning and powering the world with water. Not just hydroelectric as in a dam, actually taking the um, liquid and turning it into a combustible gas of oxygen and hydrogen. However, they killed them. The system did, the Antichrist system. Oh, I've got something that'll probably clear up some of my friends on... Uh, on Facebook, maybe some will jump away. I believe we already had the return of Christ, the tribulation, and the uh, millennial reign of Christ in our history already. I've got what I believe is conclusive evidence of that. I believe we're living in the short season of Revelation 20. Whether you like it and or believe it or not, I, I'm not going to debate people on my, on my posts or on my videos. I just make the information available and people largely believe what they want to believe. That was how I found it. So there's this me right now, 
sitting here and then a digital me that you're perhaps looking at while I do the live stream or maybe at a completely different time, a different day. Could be. So one of the other things that happens is we have enemies that present themselves as friends, doctors, confidants, partners, lovers, all different relationships. Satan, dis even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. How about that? Wow, that's going to complicate the issue, won't it? He presents himself as the the uh, the answer, and uh, well, it's unpopular. Well, I've got other videos that expose those that have sold their souls for fame and fortune, celebrities. A lot of them are are transgender. There's the transpocalypse, which involves transgendering, transhumanism. It is so complicated, and yet it can be so simple for some. As in, if they're authentically born of the Holy Spirit, then that's, that's what matters most. It's just that there's a lot of apparently well-indoctrinated, deceived individuals that are explaining why they believe the lie they believe, and they present it as the truth. It's the official narrative that is so deceptive and so powerful because they own the indoctrination system largely involving the schools of from the daycare centers all the way up to colleges ivy league colleges online educational systems the whole thing so the algorithm that I've been involved in developing is wanting to help engage your heart, your heart and your mind, your soul, and help you to consider how important it is to have an accurate situational awareness. There's a lot of people that think they got it figured out, and they like to view those truth tellers like me as crazy or stupid people. Oh well. How's that working for them? Some of them are dead because they made some really unhealthy choices. And it keeps on happening. A lot of mandated behavior would be toxic choices. That's part of it. However, People are not mandated to drink sugar water with acid in it and toxic chemicals. Whether it's an energy drink and, ooh, they love the way it makes their taste buds feel. Oh, but they don't want the calories, so uh, we'll have toxic sweetening agents. And I'm using my Facebook as I used to use my Twitter. I had about as many tweets as Elon Musk when he finally had enough of the truth guy. He booted me off. That's okay. So you can uh, you could check out the content that I've created and or found and shared. One of the advantages to being active on Facebook is it's the most subscribed to social network in the world. It wasn't created by uh, a ramen noodle eating. Uh, college dropout only. He's the figurehead. Mark Zuckerberg is the figurehead and the alphabet agencies are totally involved. Same thing with SpaceX, Tesla, uh, Skynet, oh, Starlink. It's, it's a grand illusion. We're presented heroes and, well, people love their heroes. They don't want to have them exposed for the reality that they are.
Does that look like a natural cloud to you? It went from a little line in the sky later on today. Won't recognize it even for that. <clears throat> now it's actually declassified. They're claiming to be doing it. In fact, they're claiming that that's part of what some of the weather problems are. That's true. Hidden in plain sight. So the world governments work together. There's a battle between good and evil. And how are you going to figure it out? How are you going to figure out the most important reality? Where will you spend forever and why? One of the problems is ignorance and apathy. People don't know and they don't care they don't know. Also the reality is we don't know what we don't know. That may sound just so freaking obvious. It's just very unfortunate how deceived most of humanity is. I would, I would say most, most of humanity is terribly deceived and they don't know it. That's been my experience looking at this, not only out in the organic or real world, so to speak, also looking at it through the um, social media and videos and all that that I look at. I've got friends from all over this world that send me links. That's part of how I have added to my library. I, it, it would be physically impossible for me to look over all the content. Couldn't do it. Too much. Too much stuff. Too much information. So I've got a video of the sun appearing in the clouds, bunches of them. One of them went through the Facebook uh, sharing system and has over a million views. Some people say, I, I've got friends that say I don't do Facebook. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. However, I find for you, I, I just am using all the resources available to me to expose the truth worldwide around the clock around the world around the clock I'll copy and paste stuff wherever I jolly well please I deployed my research library to the power structure of the world including the billionaires trillionaires world leaders royalty all of that 240 characters on X was not enough so I put the link to my library in my comments how about that Elon didn't like it he didn't want me doing it anymore oh well you can hash my uh, hashtag my name and see what you come up with see if there's anything on uh, X now or Twitter you got a friend here that said hey I saw you uh, I was watching Joe Rogan and he mentioned you on his podcast so if you actually find the link on that Feel free to send it to me if you like. Send me any link you want. So I'm not wearing sunglasses much anymore, even though I've got them in my, I'm wearing them in my profile pictures. I'm okay with that. I found out that I tan better without them because apparently there's a correlation between what the photoreceptors in our eyes pick up and tell our brain to do, the melanin. Also I get a lot of, um, I get a, get a lot of healthy nutrients that are pre-digested in my smoothies, meaning I, I pulverize them and turn them into a slurry and drink them spinach kale chia seed broccoli bananas avocados anything i jolly well please quinoa chia seed chia seed is very fibrous and it creates a ja gelatinous delivery mechanism that is highly nutritious 
and evens out the blood sugar. The blood sugar spiking and overconsumption of food causes people to put on the pounds. And because I have a fasting window that's quite bigger than my feeding window, normally at least half, sometimes my fasting window is two-thirds what my feeding window is. It's called intermittent fasting. There's the sun. Let's zoom in on you right there. How about that? So now I'm more metabolically diverse. I can consume a... If I have hunger pains, see it's not wanting to flip around. There, I'm going to do that. Now I'm zoomed out. Sometimes on a Facebook, it doesn't want to zoom out well. Anyway, when I have a big glass of water, Highly purified water, I, the hunger pains go away. There's a lot of energy in the water. I put my reverse osmosis electrolyte enhanced drinking water in the sunshine. I put my body in the sunshine, picking up energy directly and indirectly from the sun. Drinking liquid sunshine energized electrolyte enhanced highly purified reverse osmosis drinking water that's been carbon filtered and electrolyte enhanced. And yeah, I like my coffee sometimes. Actually, when I make my coffee, I'll have four tablespoons of fresh coffee grounds that have not had water run through them. I'll put it in water, a couple ounces of water, shake it up and drink it. Oh yeah. How about that? It works great. It's got a delayed delivery mechanism. So technically I would be breaking my fast when I have that. I'm giving my stomach something to digest. I'm okay with that. I'm not all legalistic on this stuff. I may have a little ice cream or a, a yogurt or whenever I whenever I please but I I weigh 191 pounds now and I'm real healthy I've got a good body metric muscle to fat index that's all good when I do my uh, deep tissue massage I'll, I'll show you the public version of it I'll exercise and massage my face and all that it helps and I'll do that over my whole body and when I'm bathing in the electrolyte enhanced drinking water, it's as hot as I can stand. It cleans my body at a cellular level. I've been doing it for about five and a half years now. The electrolytes I add to the reverse osmosis carbon filtered drinking water that I've got a ground wire running from my electrical system to the water, I'll add a tablespoon of the following electrolytes. That would be boron, which is borax. You can get it at any one. Well, you can get it in the laundry department or online. Baking soda. I get it typically from Costco. I get my borax from Walmart. I've got a lot of it. I get my Epsom salt, which is magnesium sulfate from... Uh, from Costco, apple cider vinegar, a full spectrum sea salt. It's got a lot of minerals in it. Helps me to stay hydrated. We're, mo we're um, molecularly over 99% water molecules and in volume about 70% water or so. It's important to get an adequate amount of water with an appropriate amount of electrolytes to have proper hydration and neurological function. It's all connected, all of it. They've got a diagnosis for people that can see the truth in all this and they want to drug the heck out of them. I barely survived that. You can see my bio or hear my history. I'm exposing the 
big pharma, medical industrial complex, and oncology, and I've got videos that cover uh, for your entertainment purposes, cancer cures and causes. You can check all that out care to. So I'm not going to do a marathon broadcast. I just wanted to say hey again and let you know that you may want to explore what I've compiled and be a part of it, perhaps. I don't claim to have it all figured out. I just have a real passion to know and expose the truth about it all. Gives me something to do while I'm waiting for the end of the world as we know it. Right? People can make healthier choices. So I'm helping raise up an, ar an army of people that are empowered by the Holy Spirit. Protected and directed by the Holy Spirit. How about that? Oh yeah. Demons are afraid of people power, empowered by the Holy Spirit. Indwelt and empowered by the Holy Spirit. Jesus wasn't afraid of demons. He still isn't. He lives in and through me and all of his children that are actually born again. Keep in mind there's a whole bunch of people playing church. The 501c3 muzzled church tax exempt status that is not going to talk about what, I've, what I'm talking about, what I found. Oh well. Wouldn't you rather know the truth? Some people come across my library and go, wow, that's the best research library we've ever seen. It's based on a lifetime of research and a group of people all around the world, authors, truth tellers, uh, many of which are, have been killed for exposing the truth. I didn't figure this out on my own. I had help, divine intervention, and help from friends and family all over the world. How about that? I think that is so cool. I'm backing up a little bit further. It'll it'll give me a different look at things. So do we live in, I, I'm going to flat out say we live in a computer simulation and a base reality both. We've got a digital avatar, a, a node on the network, a digital twin, and I've got content that describes all of that. I've been doing it for years with the help of content creators that preceded me in this truth discovery. So in this tapestry of truth, there's a kaleidoscope of conspiracy theories that are designed to hide the true conspirators and what they're up to and how they're doing what they do. They create the problem, anticipate the reaction, and present multiple solutions that they're going to implement. We're living in a, in a digital prison of sorts where there's this battle between good and evil spiritual entities and technological weapons that have been deployed. I'm exposing the whole freaking thing. How about that? <laughs> and I'll just keep on doing it. Who knows, this, is, this could be the last day I get to do it. I'm not sure. This is what I would want to be doing. It's an awfully beautiful day. Or it's a, it's a very beautiful day, a spectacular day. the Cherry Grove Fishing Pier. I may go surfing. I've got the Truth Mobile and the surfboard on the roof. I've got two Truth Mobiles and a Truth Cycle. The Lexus is on the end of my driveway. That's been viewed as well as me about 40 million times. 
at the Flat Earth International conferences and then locally here. And now I've got the Toyota Prius that gets between 45 and 50 miles to the gallon, which is way more economical. And I can also power up my batteries to run my freezers if I need to. And I've got some extra gas. I could load in the car and drive a long ways if I need to. If we have a, a tsunami here with a little bit of notice, I might go for a ride to higher ground. We'll see the sun poke through there in just a little bit. I've got a lot of Facebook pages too with thousands of followers. Somewhere between Facebook and YouTube and other platforms, I've got maybe 20,000 followers or so, something like that. That's way more than I ever expected to have. You can, uh, oh, I've got it right here. You can, you can see it. I've been sharing Bible.com for years. Let me show you that. All that coconut oil on my skin is a bit slippery. That's all the major languages of the world at your, at your fingertips. If you're watching this video, you should be able to go to Bible.com and hear God's Word. I listen to and or meditate on Scripture day and night. Some of the best praying I've ever done is listening to God's Word. I can hear what He has to say. That is so cool. So when I go to sleep at night, I'll, I'll put it on through my Bluetooth speaker and, and listen to his word. How comforting. And he helps give me, well, he gives me perspective that he wants me to have to do what I do. Uh, people will argue also about the name of Jesus. I believe he goes by many names. The Living Word, the Living Water, the Great I Am, the Alpha and Omega. He knows the end from the beginning. Some say there's only one day a week you're supposed to uh, have as your Sabbath, when clearly, in the Word of God, Jesus is our Sabbath. Or he's my Sabbath, I'm resting in him. I'm not earning my way into heaven. That's already been determined, predetermined. I'm just doing my best to obey what he created me to do. And people will have very, very strong what they might present as opinions. I recognize beliefs. I have very strong beliefs that I prefer to have proof to back them up. So I would say truth with proof. I've got the evidence of it, the proof of that truth that I'm exposing. The liquid mirror. In a busy year, we'll have up to 20 million guests that come to this location. One of the other things I wanted to mention too is that if you like videos on my channel, and I'm not just talking about videos I've created, I'm talking about if there's a video on my channel and you like it, or put it in your Watch Later playlist, it becomes your private liked video. you got to log in to do that, because if my channel is taken down, then there's uh, you won't be able to find those videos through the the access point that I've created in my research library. So it's not all about me or what I've done. It's just I'm a, I'm a part of it. That's all. That's one of the ways that I've stayed on the platforms that I'm on now is by using other people's created content to expose what I can't really elaborate on on YouTube. Even on Facebook, there are certain things if I mention on Facebook, they'll shut the chant, they'll, they'll not allow this video or other ones to be up 
if there's a violation of community standards. So I've had to be a bit cryptic knowing that I'm going to want to upload this to YouTube as well, which has a very aggressive um, has a very aggressive censorship going on. The liquid mirror. A body in motion stays in motion. Use it or lose it. It's healthy stuff. So when I surf, I can paddle out in big waves. I don't, when I ride them, I'm normally not standing up. I've been able to do that a few times. I like, one of my favorite exercise, uh, exercises is riding a dirt bike or skiing or jet skis. I can do all of that. I race snowmobiles, jet skis, motorcycles, and more. It's all, it crosses over all the different platforms. And I just don't have a real high priority of uh, mastering surfing. I'm more interested in interacting with the people that come on out here. There we go. How cool is that? It's super good exercise. One of my favorite things to do is to go out there and swim around too. Which is what I'm going to do when I cut this broadcast and then I'll upload it to YouTube and later on today we're going to get uh, rain very likely. That was nice. Well, I want to thank you for tuning in. <clears throat> I appreciate the public and private encouragement. Oh, and if you want to save money getting your hair cut with the Flow B, you can get them on Amazon. And then I've got a groomer to get rid of that nose hair and ear hair, too. The coconut oil is way healthier. On uh, It's an SPF 4. I get organic coconut oil from... Costco. It's only uh, right now about little little over twelve dollars for eighty four ounces. It's like a fourth of the price of most other places. It's organic too, and it helps with uh, skin elasticity. And then the healthy detoxing makes a big difference. So sometimes my nose gets a little stuffy. And I've noticed that when I brush my teeth with the full-spectrum sea salt and then uh, add some water and swish it around to dissolve the salt crystals completely, then I swallow it and it's, uh, it makes me feel good and opens up my sinuses. How about that? This is all for your entertainment. And maybe it'll enhance your educational awareness of what's going on. Oh, there's my friend John. He's, he's on it. Cool. Looks like a nice, nice video of all of them out there. One of the other things that's super healthy and free to do is to breathe deeply. 
and exhale completely. Like hyperventilating. Well, that's what it is. It is hyperventilating. And then one of the other things that I'll do is I'll put my I'll pull my shoulders back and hold my diaphragm in more, sucking my gut in. That's exercise. Breathe deeply makes a big difference. It's all part of the healthy living. I don't have to burn out or blow out my knees running to have deep breathing. I can just do it when I'm making coffee or doing laundry or bathing kitty cats. I've got three uh, Sphinx kitties. You can see what they look like in the Austin Power movies. I've got, I think, one of them in my library. They're, I think all the Austin Powers are free right now on free YouTube movies. Kind of funny, especially looking at Dr. Evil and Klaus Schwab. We've got a lot of uh, predictive programming in the um, in the movies, and it's and a lot of fakery and deception on the news. That is how it works, and it works really well. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's science fiction. Uh, not exactly. It's predictive programming more accurately stated. So how accurate is your situational awareness or mine? Like I say, if you think I've missed something, you can give me a call, send me a link, put it in a comment. I'm robertforsch at gmail.com if you want to email me something. Ah, there's a nice romantic hand-holding in the sunbeam. Let's put them right in the beam. There we go. All I had to do was move over a, a foot. So out here I've seen the the wedding pictures, the engagement pictures, the new baby pictures, the cheerleader pictures, the, the team photos, the family photos, all of it. People happy, people pretending to be happy. <laughs> that all happens too. So, there you go. So I, I'm not responsible for the results. I'm responsible for the obedience, from what I understand. And I have the opportunity to do this. And then the Almighty takes care of the results. So rather than trying to please others, including myself, I would rather walk with the Almighty. I believe He authored the Bible and created this world. And there you go. You can take a look at it, see what you come up with. And I hope it works out well for you, whoever you are. Let me just set this down for a moment. Take a breath. Yeah, I think I can walk right through. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go for a little walk. I'll be back.
Alrighty. So, thank you so much for tuning in, liking and sharing if you do, subscribing if you want to. By the way, I su I'm subscribed to a lot of channels and the, the AI is unsubscribing me from them. Just so you know, that's how it work. That's how it's working for me. Oh well, I've got a really good memory. So feel free to reach out anytime. I encourage everybody to seek the truth with all your heart because it matters for eternity. Where will you spend forever, and why? In my case, I'm I'm not afraid to die. I'm not afraid to live, die, or tell the truth. And I'm just very grateful to get to do this. So the, the other short version of it is I'm not so concerned with how I'm going to die. I'm very concerned and with how I'm going to live. What am I going to do? And what is the Almighty going to do through me? I want it to be whatever He wants me to do. Alrighty. Thank you so much.